South America, the land of samba, soccer, and a fighting tradition that not many know about. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is just like jazz, because you never see the same move twice, and good fighters build from riff to riff. It's kind of like a process of discovery, because you have to discover how your opponent moves by feeling them and touching them. It's a very instinctive way of fighting, of feeling your way through each situation. Some fighters call it the most effective martial art ever created, and I'm about to find out why. I'm Roland Osborne, and I'm on my way to check out a fighting art that had traveled thousands of miles to Rio de Janeiro. First up was a showdown with one of the world's coolest jiu-jitsu fighters, Hoyler Gracie. Rio's beautiful. Well, uh, they call this Seven Heaven. You can see all the beach from Lebron to Arpoador. You have the ocean, you have the mount, you have the city, you know, it's everything combined. For an appetizer, Hoyler gave me a quick taste of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. The aim was to nail your opponent and bring him down fast. Once a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fighter has you on the ground, you're at his mercy. Show me how it works. Well, I'm in a very comfortable position right now. For most people, it looks like these Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu guys are just rolling around. But it's really an intricate science with thousands of tactical moves. You think you're finishing? No way, bro. I escape here now. If you do this, I take your arm, and then I break your arm. That's the end. Oh, man, he got me again. Look at his neck right here. You can see how detailed and technical all the techniques are. They go from move to move to move to move until finally somebody makes one mistake, he's got him, and he wins. Yeah, this is Pelé, and that's my father. The Gracies were the first family of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Hoyler's dad, Helio, had virtually invented an encyclopedia of moves for every fighting situation. The Gracies were the Einsteins of martial arts. They lived and breathed Jiu-Jitsu. Champion of the world. Jiu-Jitsu originally began as a samurai martial art form in Japan. It was known as the way of unbalancing and incorporated moves like hip throwing and wrestling. When the Japanese came to Brazil in the early 1900s, one man, Count Maeda, brought jiu-jitsu with him. He taught the secret art to this man, Carlos Gracie. When the Count returned to Japan, Carlos and his younger brother, Elio, carried the art further. Eventually, they added so many new moves that it became known as Gracie Jiu-Jitsu. The Gracies created a storm by defeating martial artists all over the world with their unique ground fighting style. People who grew up watching kung fu movies think that fighting is just kicking and punching, but it's not. This is what would happen if somebody just tried to kick and punch against somebody who knows Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And that's what makes Brazilian Jiu Jitsu so revolutionary in the martial arts today. brush up on my jiu-jitsu skills, I headed down to Hoyler's Academy. This was a playground for Rio's toughest fighters. The mat was where Hoyler held court every day, teaching people the language of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Arm locks, foot locks, holds, and chokes. The fun in jiu-jitsu begins once you hit the floor. It's really difficult to figure out what's going on unless you take a closer look. Sometimes it almost looks like they're like intertwined up like a pretzel. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a chess game, you know. Um, the guy on the bottom tried to sweep the guy, put the guy on top down, and then the guy on top always tried to control the position. Hoyler moved like a python and ate guys twice his size for breakfast. And then suppose... But learning his moves wasn't gonna be like easy. Somebody? I don't know nothing. Try to mount you and hold you. How you try to escape? Go ahead. Whatever you like, man. I'm just trying to hold you. I'm not do the choke. No, I'm not. Now I'm a... Should I get you off? I don't... Whatever you like, man. Go ahead. Take me out. Take you out. Come on, man. I'm drunk, but you... 
And if you don't know how to go out, okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay, whatever you're comfortable. Can you go? You ready? As I soon found out, the secret behind Gracie Jiu Jitsu was leverage. <laughs> the idea is to use different parts of the body to throw off your attackers. Now, you lift your hip and force me with my hands on the floor. Right, keep the hip up. Let my arm up. This move was pure genius. Just by lifting my hips, I was able to tip Hoyler over with hardly any effort. It's very good, man. Thank you. Go and let it go, you got it. Relax. Right, you see? That's the leverage you're looking for. Okay, again. Go, one, and go. Boom. Got it. Perfect, man. Easy, huh? <laughs> okay. He's making me look good. There was another side of Brazil that few got to see. A world hidden away from tourists. The next day, Hoyler took me out to the mountains of Itaipava, an hour out of Rio. I was going to meet the high priest of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Elio Gracie. Yeah, that's my father. At the age of 91, it was hard for me to believe I was shaking hands with the world's oldest jiu-jitsu fighter. In the 30s and 40s, Helio Gracie was Brazil's national hero. Decades before the rest of the world had even heard of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. At one point, Helio challenged the world heavyweight champion Joe Lewis to a no-holds-barred match. Joe Lewis, who was almost 60 pounds heavier, turned him down. You're not playing, not, not even with the neck, not a play. <laughs> there are over 70 Gracies doing jiu-jitsu today. The champions include Hickson, Hoist, and of course, Hoyler. All of them are legends in the fight world. Today, Helio Gracie still practices the jiu-jitsu that he created. I'm here to take a lesson in his private dojo today, and hopefully he won't hurt me too much. I mean, after all, he's only 91 years old. <laughs> I soon found out, 91 or not, this guy can still fight. After showing me what he could do to Hoyler, I was up next. Inicialmente, essa mão sobe aqui. First of all, he leave his arm. Mal ele fazer o que ele quiser para sair daí. Now you can put your head down and try to escape from this. Try to put your head down, as he say. No. It's make you uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Just like that. That's all. It is. In this position here, he has my neck, but but just by simply sliding my arm up here, I take away his power. That I use this hand to reinforce it. Now I have a lot of leverage on his neck. I can just push back. I turn the hip, get in position, lock the leg in here underneath. And then from here, if I cross my leg, oh, I can twist the technique just like that. The secret of Elio's strength was in his wrist. They were huge, even at his age. With a gun aimed to his head, Elio told me he once choked a guy out before he could even pull the trigger. Eu só vou ajeitar a mão, não vou apertar não. Quando ele vier, quer bater. Não. He he just try to adjust himself. He not try to squeeze you. Todo If mundo you enfoca feel assim. Tapping. Todo mundo enfoca assim. É. Ele, se... Mas quando eu quando eu só vou ajeitar a mão. Yeah. Eu só arrumei he a just, mão. He just he he say only try to adjust his hands. E quando o cara quando eu faço isso, tum, tum, ele apaga. Everywhere he hold, uh, you pass out. <laughs> That's he like choke. <laughs> Some families sing and dance. Others run business empires. But the Gracies, they just love fighting. Three generations and still going strong. <laughs> 